and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the transform menu. Let us simply create a geometric object. I use the polygon tool. Make sure you've got three corners. I hold control when I drag that. If you don't see a triangle, it may be because of your spoke ratio. You need to have 0.5 for a triangle. Let's select it, I press Ctrl D and I drag a copy out of it. I click on it again and I hold Ctrl and I rotate it. I snap it to the first one, so the snapping is enabled. And I've also got snapping to rotation center active. So if you don't have that, make it active. Select it all, path union. I size it down holding Ctrl and Shift. This is our basic unit. Go to object and there's the transform menu. Move, scale, rotate and skew. I think that is self-explanatory. Matrix, I think I'll make a specific video about that in the future. Let us talk about rotate in this. And I just have this geometric object selected. And if I apply the rotation, it is rotated around the rotation center. So that's why I have activated this snapping for the rotation center so that I can drag it downwards right here and then apply it. If you press Ctrl D or right click and duplicate, and then apply it, you can rotate copies. Let me select them both. I go to Path and Difference. So this is the shape that I want to have. Click on it again and make sure that you reposition your rotation center. Press Ctrl D. Let me give it a different fill color and apply. I select both. Ctrl G to group it. Click on it again. Reposition the rotation center. Now that we've got two elements as a group, I need to double the angle, so 60 degrees. And now I repeat Ctrl D and apply until I've arrived at this shape. If you want to change the colors, for example, you need to ungroup it first. So Shift Ctrl G after you've selected it. And then you can select one, go to Edit, select Same by Fill Color. Let me pick some bluish colors here. I'll select the black one, again edit, select same by fill color, and I'll give it this one. Afterwards select it all, Ctrl G, and you can export it via file. And this is how you can use the transform menu in Inkscape to create such geometric elements. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.